What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody. March 6, 2024. Word today from the Lord on a grando Wednesday. <laughs> The Lord says today, I know this test is difficult, for I know these trials have been difficult, my children. You do not need to be afraid to express yourselves, for it is a process. Keep fighting, my child. And then he's putting things on my spirit to kind of free flow a little bit, okay? So just bear with me here. There are many people that are going through struggles, like, you know, every day, sin that the enemy tries to keep us in right and you're feeling like when he tells you that judgment is coming or you know he's expressing how he's feeling about certain individuals or certain things you get afraid the lord is speaking to you specifically and telling you he said it do not be afraid my children you don't need to be afraid to go through this process with the Lord. He's not looking at you ready to strike you down as he expects us to struggle. We are not perfect, okay? Repentance is a process that we go through. And more and more and more our hearts, we don't like the sin. We want it gone, that's good. You went from enjoying it to wanting it gone. That's progression. But the enemy will make you feel like you're going backwards. You don't fail with God unless you give up or you just don't listen to him completely, right? That's where the problems come. The next category of people the Lord is explaining, you're in your transition phase, right? And you're waiting on the Lord. And the Lord says, you have not failed me. You know who I'm talking to. You have not failed me, says the Lord. So just because you're sitting waiting for something doesn't mean you failed the Lord. You're just waiting. There are a lot of people who are taking tests and have already passed the test. Some people are just waiting for the Lord patiently. But don't think the enemy won't come through and try to slip his way into doing something dirty or sneaky if you allow a gateway to be open. See, you got to be careful. All right. But you aren't in a bad spot you're just waiting for the lord patience it's that simple don't make it any harder than what it needs to be okay and for those of you going through tests and feeling like hey you know i'm failing like just overall in general i'm failing again you don't fail until number one you stop listening to the lord completely and rejecting god and the truth or you give up you have to keep going OK, we are going to go through trials until it's time for us to go. But that keeps us in check. Don't look at this as such a horrible thing, getting tested this way or even having to break a stronghold. Thank the Lord because you're a threat to the enemy. Look at it as especially for somebody that's struggling with a stronghold or sin. I want to tell you this. Because the Lord has just put this on me. Look at it as the enemy being scared of you and don't want you to find out who you are in Jesus, in Christ. They don't want you to know the demons, the fallen angels, the devil. They don't want you to know who you are in the Lord. They're scared of you because when you find out, when you use that authority, it's over with. It's over with. So that should further encourage you to keep fighting. If you are in transition, understand the Lord is not upset with you. Just listen to the dreams he's giving you. Make sure you close all gateways in the name of Jesus that the enemy may have to you, right? Say that in prayer, close it off and wait for the Lord. 
because it's when you get so weary in your situation that you move. I feel the Holy Spirit coming on. Come on, Father. Come on, Father. When you move too quickly or you get tired and you give up, you miss it. It'd be right there where you almost receive what God has promised you. And the devil is like really trying to get you to think it ain't going to come. But God's words always come to pass. He's going to do what he said he's going to do, whether it's a positive result or a negative result. You hear me? God don't play. You know what he's told you for those sitting and waiting. I'm waiting with you. Spend time with the Lord. Ask the Lord how his day is going. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. It'll make the time go by a lot faster. Don't you worry about it. It's okay. So when you hear words like, you know, the Lord is angry. That don't mean he's angry with you. That's why you got to take every word back to the Lord. God, you talking about me? You know, he's angry with people who he's clearly told 179 million gazillion a billion times. Hey, stop doing this. Because they're misleading people. They're doing wrong. That's different. You're trying your hardest to get out of the sin, the stronghold. And he sees your heart posture. That's what matters, your heart posture. You're trying. And that's all that matters. But don't let the enemy have you give up because the tests are so difficult. Remember, you got to suffer. You've got to go through tests. Long suffering builds your character. It brings out things in you you never knew were there in your heart. So it can be corrected. You know what I'm saying? So be thankful for it because God sees in you things you don't, good and bad, and He will fix you, correct you, mend your heart the way He needs it to be through these tests and trials in the name of Jesus. Come on now. Father, that's all you got. That's all we're going to do today on this message. That is all, my child. All right, y'all. That Stay strong. All right, stay strong, keep it moving, don't quit. In the name of Jesus, peace and blessings, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.